We do. We got a thing here. We did you a- did you ever think that like when you started this whole movement with the notary industry, it would get as big as it did? You know, I hope so. Because I knew that we, we needed low barriers of entry businesses that we could start that could help us leave the fucking full-time workforce. And I said, if we could keep it simple enough, keep it flashy enough, we could do something here. Because even now to this day, people still don't know what the fuck we do, Tiger. Facts. Facts. <laughs> Now in 2021, so um, I had a feeling, and once I saw a few uh, of you guys get hot, I was like, okay, this thing is gonna live. This thing is gonna live, and we're gonna keep it lit and pour some honey for your boy. Yes, yes, absolutely. Hey, you, I, you know, I did the notary war room with Don, our boy Donald Gadson. Donald, he was on yesterday. That's my man, man. You know, yeah, you know man. I love Donald, man. We were just saying, you know, we were giving tech, you what up, tech? your flowers and, 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 you know, just giving you a shout out and saying how you are the godfather and OG, like seeing a brother, another brother do what you're doing was mesmerizing to us because we never knew about this industry. Mm. So to hear you deliver the way you delivered and you didn't have no filter, no cap, it was like, yo, this is what it is. <laughs> Y'all want to get down with this business or what? I'm with you. And for me, you you changed. You changed so much because I'll tell you exactly how what happened, man. I was um, and for everybody that's tuning in, you guys are tuning into like the pre-show prelude. Like you get to talk to Oprah Winfrey and shit in the beginning, right? (laughs) But I was I remember driving the truck, man. I came from Iowa. And it was the morning, it was like early morning. Mm -hmm. And I discovered a video that said, you are the five people closest to you, right? Mm -hmm. And I went, I started calling people and I say, hey, can you help me get out of this situation? I wanna get out of being a truck driver, can you help me? And out of the five phone calls that I made, none of them were able to help me. Wow. So I was like, man, I, I am in, I'm in a bad place. Mm. Right. So I really took your course and I was like, this, I I don't know him. He doesn't know me. This is like my only way out. Mm. And I studied the course. I studied your course. I studied the notary business school so intently. I like lived in there. Right. I I, I set up my futon and shit (laughs) because I'm in the truck for like 15 hours. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing, you know, I could either watch YouTube videos and see some ratchet shit or I can learn this thing. And then when I finally had a chance to break out of it, it it was like, here I am today. So (laughs) thank you so much, dude. You were the only one that rescued me out of a, a, just a, a dead end job, man. Mm, well, I appreciate it, man, and uh, it's an honor to see you grow, see what you, you built with the War Room and, and the signing agency and the courses, man. Uh, it's just a proud, very fulfilling, and uh, people oftentimes look for happiness. Happiness is cool, right, but it's fleeting. Yeah. Personal fulfillments last longer than happiness. Mm. And uh, seeing what you created and our crew created, it uh, it gives my life a lot of purpose. It gives my life a lot of purpose, and and it shows that crazy pays off. Mm. Because when I started this, uh, I, I don't know if you guys know this, people laughed at my business. People laughed at what I did all the time. Woman who I was talking about what I was doing. Oh, like oh, you're nettery. Like, uh, so that's tough. Yeah. Entrepreneurship wasn't as sexy, Tiger, and the gang. Yo, Tech, what up? Tech, what wasn't up, baby? Sexy. Even <laughs> oh, seven, cool. eight, ten years ago, it wasn't that sexy for our people. Yeah. So now to where entrepreneurship is is a general conversation amongst our people nowadays, that to the point where if you are talking about retirement, a business 
some passive income, e-com, real estate, like you're kind of whack now. Yeah. So, 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 so to see where we are as a people, um, I'm loving it too. I'm loving it, man. You know, it, it, it's so amazing because um, when when we were doing a notary war room with Donald Gatson uh, yesterday, Donald. He, was, he was talking about how he was so happy to be part of this movement, right? Mm. This, 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 this black wealth renaissance movement that's going yeah. on right now. And it, 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 it's amazing because you, you, you're, you're the, you're the, again, you're leading and, and shout out to, um, man, his name fleets me right now. The one that puts you on the game, right? Yo, OG. Ricky Salmon, Ricky, Ricky Savage, my man. shout out Salute Ricky. To Ricky, man. You know, Salute I had a chance Ricky. to meet Ricky on your five year anniversary and mm -hmm. he put you on the game. You took the ball and ran with it on, on, on a mm -hmm. relay race. Right. And it took it to a whole nother level where he didn't even imagine it would be that big. I don't think he did. I don't think he did because a lot of people, um, uh, sorry, because a lot of people who he told about it didn't act on it. I was one of the few. I was one of the few who acted on what he was teaching. So for him, it was kind of like, Wow, like someone really followed through with this thing. Yeah. Somebody really followed through. And I followed through and I ran, Tiger. I fucking I ran know. with this shit. Cause I just I just didn't see it, man. I dude, I was making a hundred dollars a day. Literally a hundred dollars a day. Doing very noble work. Very noble work. Working with special needs kids. Right, you was in the school but system. I was in the school system, same old school system that I went to. Mm -hmm. And I was I always knew there was a better way for me to make more money. And when I saw I have a friend, he calls me Mr. Practical. Mm -hmm. Right? Cause because if it just makes sense, I just go with it. If I can't understand it, it's too I don't do complicated shit. Mm. It, it makes my head hurt. It, it just makes my head hurt. I've just gotten good at mastering simplicity and simple stuff. So when Ricky told, because he had told a, a, a numerous people about it, but I was the first one, I think, damn, and I, I'm, I'm 39 next month, T. Uh, I was 23. <laughs> I was 23, T. Right. And, and, and he was impressed that I was the first one that ran with it. Um, and it made his life easier too, because he was able to dish me some work and, keep some accounts and and um, and leverage some of that middleman money. So to see where we are now, all these years later, all these, how, how many people do you think that we've taught over the past five years? Dude, you so? alone have, have <laughs> <laughs> you alone probably changed at least two to 3,000 people, minimum two to 3,000, because just off of the the connection of one person to another. Yeah. I, I talk I talk to people like every day and they're like everywhere. It doesn't matter what state <laughs> they're coming from, bro. I kid you not. You are international for sure. Uh, people up? like Andre Hatchet this, Andre Hatchet that, Andre. And I want to say thank you because you did something that was, that completely changed the trajectory of what I was doing you allowed me to teach a class on your platform. Mm -hmm. I did not realize the magnitude of like the, the reach and the powerful impact you had on people until I taught a class. And then I started getting phone calls from people saying, hey, I saw you on Andre Hatchett's teaching a class. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it was like, yeah, I just saw it. It's the one that you did in Iowa. I was like, I did like like two and a half years ago, dude. But like good, it just good content lives on. It was amazing, bro. So like when, whenever I have the chance to like teach on a notary business school, dude, I am on like five of these joints right here. I'm like all the way to fuck up, right? No, I, I, I... <laughs> 
<laughs> and I appreciate it. And I appreciate you still teaching, even though you have your own platform. I appreciate you still coming back and showing love uh, to the old homie and the crew. So I, I appreciate oh, you. Oh, no, too. man. We, we, we cling now, man. <laughs> and, you know, and, and a lot of people don't know, right? Mm -hmm. um, you, had, you had partnered up in a business which was called Buy Black NYC. Yeah. That's when I first heard about you, bro. My, wow. my homies in Brooklyn was telling me about you. That was 13, 14, dude. 2013 dude. or so. Shit, yeah. And those are street niggas. So <laughs> <laughs> street niggas fuck with me. Street niggas. I mean, they were, I was like, hold up, buy Black NYC. I mean, like, they was going hard for your for your yeah, company, right? Yeah. That's how I first got when this was way before the notary side, mm -hmm. like years before the notary side. And I was like, yo, have you heard about this by Black NYC? It was like, yo, this is the movement out here. This is the movement out here. The next thing I know, I wind up getting the Black Wolf run, um, the Black Wolf boot camp with Dr. Boyce Watkins. Shout out to yep. Dr. Boyce. Shout Watkins. out to Boyce. And he introduced you. And I'm mm -hmm. like, hmm. Okay, notary. I've never heard about that. This this seems like a one of those unicorn type of businesses. Let me look into it. And I just kept seeing you pop up all of these different places. Your your game, Yo, your marketing game is sick. Bam! I will. Thank you for that. I was going stupid, dumb ham <laughs> for like it felt like three, four years. Where if you are black and on the web, you had to see me. Right. I was on everyone's podcast. I was interviewing people. I was doing, here's what I was doing that a lot, a lot, a lot of people don't do, T. I was doing mm. a lot of free work mm. that I could have gotten paid for. I was just doing it just to show up. Yeah. Here's a, here's a, here's a tidbit that a lot of people don't know. Your notary business school used to be the black notary business school. It did. <laughs> You went hard. You was going so hard in the paint with the like, hey, look, I'm building this academy for black people. Like, you put it in the name and everything. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I wanted to give us an advantage. I want to give us an advantage. So I, I, in my general conversations in life, I talk like I'm talking to black people, and and most of them, I talk like I'm talking to black men. Because I feel that there's so much other nonsense being taught, told, so much nonsense being told to us directly. I need to be as direct as I can to our people yeah. about the positive shit. Indeed. Facts. You did something like, dude, your evolution is like, like they, like that old saying goes, success leaves clues, right? It does. It and does. You know, I, I am like, you know, I, I have no shame in saying it. Like you're you're my mentor, my sensei. Like I, I follow <laughs> I what you do it. because um because you you that you a hitter, you a hitter at the end of the day. So one of the things I remember was you had did a live show. You had did a live uh, uh class, and there was a guy that was like, hey, um I guess he was asking about why were you changing your name to the notary business school and removing the word black, right? And you was like, hey, look, man, trust me, there ain't nobody more black than me. <laughs> that was years ago. You said, dude, I swear, because it was it was life changing because he was like, I can name all my business black this, black that, black that, but it's all about the effort and what I put behind it. And it, it resonated with me because it was like, you can play the whole black role, but once people see your delivery and they see your content, they know like this guy's making content for me. Yeah, yeah, that's intentional. That's damn. I, how did you even, how do you remember this stuff, dude? I I, I got a, a memory of an elephant, man. <laughs> that's a good one, man. We need so so now it's become more popular. But let me tell you now that I only start to do public work because I wasn't happy with the representation that I saw with our people. Hmm. 
That's the only reason I started to do public work. I was, and I just didn't want to call out. I don't like calling out other people if I'm not calling out myself. So I just started to do some YouTube, started to do some Facebook, just, just continuing to get what I considered um, a positive message out there. There weren't that many people, younger black men especially, doing it. So I just did it. And I might have slowed down a little bit, but I don't feel like I stopped. Mm -hmm. And here we are. Like I said, man, your marketing game is sick. Shout out to the war room. Shout out to the war room. Boom, boom, (laughs) boom. You know, um, hey, again, this is the the offspring of all of the stuff that you've been doing. This is, uh, you know, like you're actually looking at something that you inspired, that you have your work, the, your body of work has spawned out the notary war room, right? Mm. It, I was, um, who was I talking to? Um, you had I think it, yeah, I think it was misguided, David. misguided out there in San Francisco, California. Okay. I was telling him, <clears throat> no, I'm sorry. I was talking to David Billard of, of Black Wolf Renaissance. David, that's my man. Yeah. And I told him, I was like, I am Andre's hitman. I was like, anybody come at Andre, I'm getting at him like like no filter, nothing. Like I'm that dude. Like Andre can act professional if he want to, and then out comes Tiger Toledo and shit. This thing is just cursing people out on on the gram. <laughs> he's doing videos showing people grown men in bikinis. Like he's just completely terrorizing your your very existence because you made me into a made man, mm. right? So because you made me into a That's made deep. man, I'm like, all right, well, I'm gonna protect the dude that made me into the made man. I appreciate it, Sam. I appreciate it greatly. That so, means a lot. So we, we got quite a few people on the notary war room. So let, let's we get right into it. We got my queen in here, Tiger. Um, my huh? lady's in here, Farley. That's my woman. What's up, honey? Who's this? That's my woman. Farley, is this the, uh, what, what's the nationality? Haitian. Only got one woman, so yeah. That, that's okay, it. okay. <laughs> Sac passe, Farley. Come oh, on here. Come on oh, here, madame. Et <laughs> vous Um, we're bien, we're bien. Oh, I, nice. I, I saw the pictures that you guys saw. You already know I was throwing the Haitian flag and a bunch of gunshots <laughs> in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Jamaica avec Haitien. Ah. Perfect match. <laughs> oh, we switching it up on you there, Andre. I apologize. Uh, hey, it's all good. Y'all have your little vibe going. I, I, I think Just in case people d- didn't think I was a real Haitian, I had to, I had to let it be known. Zo Pound? Zo. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, <leave it> <laughs> So let's get right into it. Peace, peace, peace. This is your international sales and marketing hitman, your humble hip hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo, and you already know what it is, man. You rocking with the best. You heard, and you are tuning in to the Notary War Room. Today we have my super, super guest, the season finale, Andre C. Goddamn Hatchet. God damn it. God damn it. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> Money rain on you, baby. May money continue to flow into your life in great abundance. May you never see a goddamn drought. May the cocaine flow. (laughs) Oh, shit. May there there always be happiness and fulfillment in your life. I want to give you flowers while you are here, brother. Yes, sir. I I will even give give you plastic flowers so they last longer. Oh, that's real. Thank you. <laughs> Shout out to Artificial. <laughs> so let's get right into it, man. If you don't know who this guy is, if you are on this platform today, the Notary War Room, it has been inspired by this guy. If you have taken any master class, any classes that I've taught or you follow me on Instagram, it is because of this guy. None of this stuff would have ever, ever taken place if it wasn't for this guy. I want you to guy, I want you guys to understand something. I'm paying homage to the very man that rescued me from the corporate plantation, which I fucking hated. I absolutely hated. After I was driving a truck, I was working at 
an engineering firm in a damn cubicle. It was, it was, I was miserable. This guy took the time out to develop an academy, which is called the Notary Business School. I took it, I took that class in its early inception. Like I probably was like, you know, one of the first 20 that actually bought the, the course. And ladies and gentlemen, it changed my life. It changed my life. And today, I shit, four years later, I'm able to have this notary war room and all of these other programs and stuff and help other notaries along the way because of this guy. So help me welcome, give a big round of applause for Mr. Andre C. Hatchett, ladies and gentlemen. Brother, tell, for, for the ones that don't know who you are, please tell them who you are. Man, I think I can't beat that. I, I should just leave now because I can't stop that. Issue. Thank you, Brother Tiger. Who am I? I'm currently 38, soon to be 39 year old, hardcore pro black dude, hardcore entrepreneur. entrepreneur. Uh, and I try to mesh those two together whenever humanly possible. Uh, been an entrepreneur since I was a kid, sold lemonade in school. So I uh, had lemonade stands, sold candy in school, had people selling candy for me in school, shovel snow in the winters, um, left the full-time workforce for good through this business mm. uh, 11 years ago. I haven't had a job in 11 going on 12 years from this wow. business. Now I've done other things. I'm, I, I'm an investor, own some property, some other cool stuff. But this has been my most consistent business that I've ever had. The day I got, I had my stamp in my hand, Tiger, mm -hmm. I made $47 in 20 minutes and I was hooked. And that day at work, I made $100 for that whole day. For a whole shift. A whole six, seven, eight hours and 47 bucks in 20 minutes. Uh, shout out to the notary business. Yes, yeah, I, I, I tell you like, that the notary business was the business that got me out of the, the engineering firm um, <clears throat> being able to like, because it didn't make any sense. I'm making more money for a short amount of time than I was making money, you know, working a whole shift. It, it didn't make any sense, any logical sense. So when they messed up my, my pay one day, it, it was like, great. Don't be mad. I'm happy you guys messed up my pay. See you later. I already cleared out my desk. <laughs> and I ain't never looked back since. I was actually happy and relieved that they messed up on my paycheck because mm -hmm. it gave me a reason to skip daddle out of that joint. So um, there, we have we get a lot of newbies that come on here that are just Shout like, the hey, newbies. are there... Is the notary business saturated? What would you say? No, hell no. I get it too, all the damn time. Oh, I'm in California. Oh, I'm in St. Louis. I haven't seen anybody, Tiger, in all of the years mm -hmm. who've applied our knowledge who haven't made money. Mm. The only people who don't make money are the people who fuck up what we tell them to do. Yes. If, if you keep this thing simple enough, don't add all your fancy ass flair. So have your flair for your other shit. This mm -hmm. structure it, center it, start it, expand it, grow it. The only people who don't make money are the people who fuck it up. Indeed. Indeed. So we have a lot of people that have full time jobs, part time jobs, never experienced the entrepreneurial life before, right? Yeah, they, they read about all of this glamour and glitz. Oh, my God, you get all of this free time here and you're doing all of this stuff. I'm like all this foo foo shit that's going on about being an entrepreneur. And then when they actually walk into that space, they're like, hey, <laughs> hey, I've been bamboozled, hoodwinked. <laughs> this ain't what <laughs> this is not what the book said. What can you give them as a, a, a crash course on? Being an entrepreneur, especially in this space that we're in. The best one of the best things you could do when you start your journey is is go all in when you start mm. the freedom, the, the time freedom will come later. 
once you structure it, systematize and grow it. So, so I'm at the office now, you're at the office now. Uh, if we have a notary job come in via text message or email, there's somebody who we can send it to or we can reply back when we're done and we'll still get paid when we don't have to do the job, right? Mm -hmm. For some people that might happen sooner than later, but if you go all in early on, you'll have that kind of freedom that will come down the line. Where I went wrong, when I left the full-time workforce uh, the first time is, I remember one day sitting down eating ice cream. Uh, I, was, I think I went to my mom's that day and my sister was like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I quit my job, I'm chilling. So that wasn't the right thing to do at 12 at 11 o'clock. It was eggnog, it was really good too. But that wasn't the right thing to do at the time. I should have gone disgustingly all in on what I was doing. And a lot of people, the job is good in a sense because it forces you to work and to focus on the time when you're off of the job. A lot of people have too much time freedom and they don't know what to do with it. They don't know how to structure the time freedom. So go all in early on, all the yeah. fancy stuff that you might see me doing sometimes on Instagram. It's going to come, but it might come, it's going to come a little bit later than you think it is. Indeed. Um, I, I was, uh, <laughs> I bought this book, right, on Audible. Uh, I'm going to show it to you. So the, uh, the audience don't think I'm, I'm bull crapping on this here. I bought the Iceberg Slim Pimp Book. Pimp, right? <laughs> and what's interesting about that, and of course, I, I don't endorse any type of pimping or anything no. like that on, on for women. But the, the story was absolutely fascinating. Absolutely mm. fascinating, right? And one of the main things that I got from that story is that he needed a coach. He needed a coach. He needed someone to guide him into being, you know, this world phenomenon or whatever. But he seeked out coaches. And one of the things that I've seen that a lot of notaries do is that they wing it. What, what do you say about that? I, once I start to pay for people's intellectual property, their time, their information, their courses, whatever, their workshops, my life expanded. There's oh so far free will get you. And the time in which it takes you to get good at the free, you wasted six, eight, six months, eight months, two years figuring out on your own. What's your cheapest course now? What's that? What's your cheapest course? Cheapest course is a one-time payment of 49 and then they get like three courses. Okay. And what's the highest price? Um, 14,000. <laughs> That's why they're good. <laughs> How many months have you made, let's just go with $6,000 a month. How many months have, have you made over $6,000 a month? Oh, shit, we hitting that now. Bingo. Me paying Tiger, let's just go in the middle, right? Two grand, three grand, four grand, five grand, whatever. For him to save me those six, eight, 12, a year and a half that it will take me to figure out on my own is a no brainer for me. Yeah. I'm happily doing it. And I'm going to take the information, I'm going to take the information more seriously because I paid for it. Don't try to skimp or cut corners, go directly to the source get what they got, go make money. Yeah. And that, that's actually what helped me out, bro. I, I kid you not. Because this, in Illinois, Chicago, it's very easy to get your notary uh, yeah. credentials, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you put in a couple of paperwork, send a couple of money orders, boom, you're a notary and shit. But then what? But then what? Then you what? You sit like, it. okay, I got my stamp, I got my journal. <laughs> What's going on with the phone? My phone's not ringing. Mm -hmm. And you're wondering why it's so hard for you to get business. Invest in yourself. <laughs> I can't explain that any better. And take that little bit of money. Yeah, all right. If things are tight, shit, nigga, you come on. You guys are spending money on bullshit anyway. I know because I spend money on bullshit. I spent over $1,200 at Starbucks. Goddamn Howard Schultz. You guys. <laughs> 
<laughs> but to, to be able to invest and get the knowledge from people, especially people, pay attention to this, people that have skin in the game. Yes. Because I've noticed there's been a lot of uh, imposters <laughs> Oh, everywhere. Yeah, every other <laughs> that way. have been uh, popping up and they, they're they really good professors. They're really good uh, theorizers. They're like, well, we studied Andre Hatchett's course and Andre says you should do this. But have they actually rolled out a notary agency be before? No. Have they actually been a notary? No. They just know how to theorize um, the actual process of the things. So if you have a chance to, I mean, getting the coach is even better, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, shout out to California Notary Agency, uh, Renee. She's she's probably she's my protege, Andre. Shout out Renee. Shout out Renee. Um, she she's she's killing the game, bro. Mm. Um, I probably like cut off my coaching because of her. Like, I, I I'm not even doing coaching anymore. You're really I'm like, like, all right, I got a winner. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but you know if it wasn't for your course there i probably would have made at least two to three years of mistakes trying to bump my head against the wall trying to figure things out being pissed off high anxiety high stress level spinning my wheels in the mud trying to figure everything out so um yes yeah, getting into a course and getting a coach is imperative and it's easier to quit when you don't have accountability if you know you got something, a program, there, it's like if you have some live classes there, you know you have a community to, to kind of kick you in the butt if you need to kick it in the butt. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's what people need. They, they, they need to know that Tuesday at seven o'clock, someone's going to be there to tell them. Even if it's the same thing they already learned before, they might need to hear it again. Yeah. Yeah. So when when you're doing when you're rolling out the the whole because I know you have you have a uh, class coming up don't you? Uh, we have class tonight. Yeah, we have class tonight. Yeah. Oh, you got a class coming out tonight. Mm -hmm. So like, what what's that class about? Uh, class this is the sign and stamp with confidence class. So so this is where we go over uh, how to notarize the exact documents. Uh, I think we're going to do a loan closing packet tonight. Mm -hmm. So so for some people. They get the marketing, they get the advertising, they get the good logo, they get all that stuff, right, T? But they're nervous and they get hung up. Where do I sign? <laughs> Where do they stand? And they freeze because they say, that, I don't want to mess up. I know you hear that. I don't want to mess up. And I'm saying, okay, I get you don't want to mess up. So let's go through this. And here's the thing. You can't get fired if you mess up. You might have to give a refund. You might have to do it over again. But no one's going to fire you. Yeah. You got to get out there to make this thing happen. Hey, honey, you got to get out there to make this thing happen. You got to do it. Um, she is actually a newly commissioned notary. Hit your money gun, Tiger, please. You heard? Bo, 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 bo. Yes, I am. Thank you. <laughs> and I am being held accountable by Andre, of course. Yes. The yes, real opposites. I'm the perfectionist, so I'm yes. getting a good push. So what, what would you, uh, what advice would you give uh, Farley to um, new notaries that are jumping into the game right now and they're trying to figure things out for themselves? You're on mute, honey. I don't know if you're on mute on purpose. Oh, oh, are you asking me? Yes. Yep. Oh, could you repeat the question, please? Yeah, so uh, what advice would you give to newbies? Because we get a lot of uh, new notaries that are like, mm -hmm. hey, I heard about this industry. And some of them are actually getting, I guess, uh, shiny object syndrome, right? Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, yes. it just seems like the, the, the latest that. fad. It <laughs> looks like cool. It looks very, real cool. And mm -hmm. I just want to jump into it. They have no clue what they're jumping into. What, what kind of advice would you give to people? that are looking into getting into this notary industry right now? I would say, like Andre said, just start. Um, don't worry about the information. I oh. remember the first thing I did was pack up maybe five to seven notary history books oh. for no reason. So oh. okay. <laughs> but just start and work with a coach for your state. And I'm with the, I'm with the best, so. Indeed, indeed. I'm all right, I'm all right. <laughs> so, so, so Farley, you already got your, um, your stamp and your commission and everything? 
I actually just got licensed a couple of days ago, was it? So I'm getting my stamp this week. Gotcha, gotcha. So, okay, I, 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 I'm gonna tap into the in, inner workings of the notary business school. What is, if you can name one thing that was powerful that you heard Andre tell you about the notary Ooh. industry, what would that be? Mm. What is it, your Yo, biggest you're just gonna interview her, by the way. Wait, is it about me? <laughs> no filter, baby. I don't have NBC and ABC telling me, hey, don't ask that shit. Bump, bump, bump. <laughs> what would you say is your biggest takeaway from what Andre have told you about the notary industry? I guess I would say uh, what attracted me to was the freedom mm -hmm. in creating. I guess your life, it's on your terms. Mm. Like right now, I'm actually working still. And I won the clock and I just feel like I'm, I'm in a prison, so. I'm looking what, to get my what, time what back. What feeling that is. We're gonna free you, baby, we got you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, Andre, you know the, the biggest, the biggest takeaway I've ever, I, there, there's a lot of takeaways I've gotten from you, brother. Um, but the biggest takeaway was when you made a video and I don't even think you ever repeated that. It was just one video that you literally said this and I actually put it in the Rise of the Smart Notary book. Pick you it said, up, everybody. Got to order that. do not think as a notary, think as a business owner. Oh, I did Kaboom. I did say that. Bro, you dropped a missile in my brain. It was like, boom. Your memory is stupid, by the way. <laughs> I literally was, probably said that once. Once in all of your videos, you probably have a, a hell of an archive. You said that once and it, it changed everything for me. Mm -hmm. And from that very point, I was able to see the difference between notaries that seen, seen the industry as a notary versus a person that sees it as a business owner. Bingo. And... Hello. It, it, it was amazing because, and you guys that are on here, really take that into consideration. Look at this business as a business owner, not a notary. Can you explain that a little bit? When people look at it as a notary, they look at it as, generally speaking, that they're gonna stamp a document, which is cool. Like that's one level. Have somebody meet you, stamp a document. Level two, you go meet somebody, charge a travel fee, let's call it 125 bucks, stamp a document. When you look at it as a business, you can have 10 calls come in in one hour, 10 notaries go out there, the client paid you 125, you're paying each notary 75 bucks, you're making $50 off of 10 appointments. That's a business, dude. Yeah. That's a fucking business. That's attainable, that's doable. Let's even say you do three, five of those jobs a day. Let's say you do five a week. How many people do you know would have a totally different life if they're just middle manning out the jobs and they're middle manning out five, five or 10 jobs a week at $50 profit per job? Yeah. Most couples break up because of money, but the dollar amount is between 300, 400 and I believe $850 a month. Couples wouldn't break up. A lot of couples won't break up if they had an extra $800 a month coming in the house. That's crazy. Nuts. When I heard it, I was like, I knew it was money. I didn't know how much it was. Think of it like a business because it will keep you growing and it will keep you expanding your thought process of what you can do. You got the gear. You got the course. You got your signing agency. Um, you got a friggin' weekend workshop every other fucking weekend. Hit the money gun, Tiger, one of these fools. Hit the money <laughs> you gun. You already know, baby. Let's... <laughs> you already know. <laughs> That's a businessman right there. That's a business. That's elevation. So don't don't think about it as just as, as just a notary. You have a license to freedom. Yeah. Your notary license is your license to freedom. You know, you do, um, I had a few people ask me, like, you know, um, 
like what course would I recommend to do certain things, right? And I would always like say like, you wanna be a notary? You go to these guys over here. Mm -hmm. You wanna be a notary entrepreneur? You go to the notary business school. Because one thing, I, one approach that I've seen that you've taken that a lot of people do not do, even myself, um, is that you completely show people the broad aspect of the notary. And like, you don't have to do power of attorney. Look, I got apostille over here. It's good money. I have way. fingerprinting over here. That's my favorite service. Yeah. Is it fingerprinting? Oh, it's not even close. Oh, yeah. I love oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> favorite service. And you know, I have Malik Ali on here breaking That's it so, down. That's uh, my man. He, uh, shout out to Malik Ali, North Carolina out there killing it. You know, breaking in 10, 10 grand, you know, 10, $12,000 a month doing fingerprinting. I didn't, when he broke it down to me, the type of clientele, I had no clue that it was sick. white collar professionals doing this sick. stuff. It's sick, dude. It's freaking sick. That's you know, what... and I'm like, because me personally, I run far the fuck away from the real estate side of it. I know you don't like the calls. <laughs> Closing on the house, good for you. <laughs> right? But I, I will farm it out because, again, you taught me how to, you know, be the more more of a notary agency, a business owner than anything else. So I will, I will send, I will farm that out in a heartbeat. But mm -hmm. the fingerprinting part, I was like, wow. So when he was breaking down all of the white collar professionals that get at these doctors and you know, lawyers and all of these other BPAs, nurses, people get who get their gun license. Uh, people need those fingerprints. And the cool thing about it is, he, is a lot of companies need to fingerprint their employees, and they fingerprint like five, six, seven employees at one time. And here's something important: um, you grew up in California, and Chess, he said that she loves closings. Mm -hmm. That's the great thing about this industry: you can pick your lane and rock out with just your lane. And make 10 grand a month, five grand a month, four grand a month, 12 grand a month. You can just do loan closings and rock out. You can just do fingerprinting and rock out. You could do a little bit of everything and rock out. There are so many different avenues. So some people say to me, is it saturated or can I do this here? I was like, dude, you don't even know. You you <laughs> you just gotta pick your lane and just go all in on what you're doing. You you see, you see what California notary said? This now bears a month. Bro, this was holy shit! Congrats, Renee. Renee is a a unique breed. She is a unicorn. She seeked me out. Mm -hmm. She saw a video that we had did together, right? Mm -hmm. Which was I think like like three years ago, mm -hmm. and she was very adamant. She was like, "Hey, look, I want you to coach me on this." Mm -hmm. We like we still talk. She helped me out so much on my end of the business. Like it, it, now, I'm like the student, and she's the coach on some shit, right? That's a beautiful. Way. She beautiful like setup, like it's right? so dope. The relationship is so dope, um, and her numbers just keeps climbing and climbing and climbing. And now she's like looking at buying real estate, bro. Ooh, that are Renee. She's a gunner, man. A absolute rock star, man. I love it. Shout out. So Renee, 20 bands a month. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. 145 orders a month, 20K. We just we just got this. <laughs> Congrats, sis. That, that, that's because of you, brother. Hey. That's because of your ass, man. Just honored to have a small role. Right? You see honored that? You role. see that? This is like Avatar and shit, man. <laughs> like we all connected here. It, it, and and this is and, and, and another thing I get, T, is about the competition thing. Her 20 grand a month is taken away from no one else's money. People don't realize how many people need notaries, fam. Oh, can I do this? Get away from limited thinking. Mm. That's the best thing you could do. Have focused thinking, but not limited thinking. To where you're growing and incrementally you're growing in stages, you could, you could kill it so many different ways if you don't think too small. Now, don't think too big at first. Like, grow a little bit to get there. But there's money, serious money to make. You said it, I think in one of our webinars, that this is a million-dollar industry. Billion. Billion-dollar industry. Billion-dollar industry, bro. Like, 
There's money to make. It ain't going nowhere. There's no shortage. Zero. No shortage. And and while we're talking about that, we need to go into hot. We're gonna tap into the hot hatchets way podcast. Oh, we're we're about to transition into the hatchets way podcast, ladies and gentlemen, where he talks about entrepreneurship on a level that I, I've never heard anybody else break it down the way you do, bro. So let's I let's go into that, man. man. So let me ask you this, man. What what do you see in the future for entrepreneurship, um, the state of Black America, um, everything that's going on right now, man. Like, I, I'd love to get your insight on that. I'm going to do a deep dive. Uh, and Farley got to go. So bye, honey. Thank you for coming. Uh, talk to you later. Love Shout you. out to you, Farley. Uh, everybody say, say bye to Farley if you can, Does please. Familiar? Hey! Oh! <laughs> The Hatches Way Podcast, Entrepreneurship for the Black Community in General. I haven't seen a better time in the history of my 38 years mm -hmm. to be a Black entrepreneur. So mm. going back to Buy Black NYC, which was my first public uh, figure-ish business per se, mm -hmm. One of the reasons we did it was to change the stigma of buying black. That was one of the reasons we did that. I was like, okay, black business customer service sucks. All right, but, but the Chinese store has bulletproof fucking glass, my nigga. Like, <laughs> what are we doing here? They got bulletproof glass there. Right. So we want to make it easy to buy black. We want to take away the excuses that you can't find that business to go to. We were going around to stores asking them where they black owned, adding them to, to the directory for free at first. Mm -hmm. I was going around with a cell phone doing the black business challenge. Like, like this was a whole full-fledged movement. And, it the, is. It and was. the idea was to get the notions, of course we aren't perfect, but damn it, like, come on. Like, we ain't that bad. So to just make it as simple as possible, take away from the, take away the excuses, and to just get us to work together more. Mm. So now I got pushback from our people, a lot of our people, a lot of my friends. Okay. Oh, what if it was called by white and last year? What would you say? Well, it was called the yellow pages. Uh, so I got I got pushed back from our people, T. Mm -hmm. And and they didn't get it. We as a community do our best work usually when we are dealt with racism up front. Mm. When cops go off and, and, and pump some lead in us, that's when we come together more. Oh, now I'm gonna boycott. We treat the black business like we do the side woman or, or the side guy. Wow. You call that guy you're dating uh, when you're mad at your boyfriend. You call <laughs> that girl when your girl goes away on vacation. That's wow. how we were treating black businesses. So I just was trying to do just my small way to just change around the narrative. So now, here we are. Yo, Tech, what up, Tech? So now, here we are, 2021, buying from Black is common. Buying from Black is, for a lot of us, our first option. And for a lot of industries, our only option. I, tech, mm. I'm sure that Tech has true detergent in the crib right now. I'm sure we got a bottle or, or two of that at the crib. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, it's a bunch of uh, four black entrepreneurs, old veterans who have a, turn, who have a large detergent called food detergent. I'm ecstatic. Um, I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. And I feel that, that, that it's the first time that it's not a, a trend for a lot of us. It's a way of life. Yeah. When we buy black more, we're able to hire more, we're able to grow more. Uh, my girl who was just here. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. She could quit her job. One, because she's learning this business. Two, because she would just work with me. Okay. That means something to me. Yeah. That's that's some real shit for me, T. T. So um, I, I'm thoroughly enjoying where we're at as a people, T. I'm loving it. And, and for me to see where it was just seven years ago, eight years ago, to where we are now, I, I feel proud. I feel proud of our people. 
You know, a lot of people don't know, man, you're pioneering a lot of behind the scenes shit. You know, you know how you know how I know, bro? Because I'll go check them out and I'll see like Andre Hatch is behind this. Andre, I was like, what the fuck is God damn? <laughs> I love it because I you're think, you're yeah. giving you're giving so many young millennials a platform where they mm. they didn't even think was available to them right mm. um yeah and they're they're like whoa 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 i don't have to be on the corner i don't have to play sports to be successful i can actually talk about something with substance um deliver content deliver products and have nothing to do with drugs or sports we remember when we were growing up like it was sports drugs and entertainment right it, it was the cool thing to do like that's where the money was at and now it's like we can talk about stocks. We could talk about buying real estate, which you have the the black notary. Uh, I'm sorry, the black real estate, real estate school. Yeah. school. Um, you're you're bringing on different entrepreneurs. You have your podcast now. You're doing in person podcasts, which is freaking yeah. amazing. You know, even yeah. during this whole pandemic, where people a lot a lot of people were scared of doing those things. You have the the Hatchet Sway podcast. Like you guys follow him, man. Bree, put up a couple of posts up there. Bree is my 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 go to, my executive assistant. Put some 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 links up there for them to follow Andre Hatchet, up, Instagram, everything. You know, like because this guy does she like, do your fly ass flyers that you? Yeah, yeah. Up? She, she's, Yo, Bree, you cold with the flies. <laughs> you cold. <laughs> She's the one that created the whole Time Magazine flyer and everything, you I know, and we're, we're, we're big fans of what you do. Like, we always talk about, like, Andre is just doing, so let's make sure that we give him the proper light and, and, and everything because we just, you're, you're our inspiration on this and you know I what I mean? It, sir. I appreciate um, it. So let's go into, like, you guys could start doing some Q&A if you guys want to go on live with Andre Hatchet. Yes. That is, you Come know, on just, in. just uh, type in, I want to go live or, and I'll do some, uh, what's that guy's name, man? That relationship doctor <laughs> or oh, relationship guy, uh, Samuels, Kevin, Kevin Samuels. Samuels. I know him, you know. <laughs> do you really? I know him personally. I met Farley in his Facebook group. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that dude is lit. He on he has no filter whatsoever. Zero filter. You know the thing about him? Huh. Know people have a uh, have a um, have a view of him that's not positive. He's a cool ass dude. Yeah, he's cool as hell, and he's really funny. He's yeah, really I, I I love it, man. I love it. I actually did a parody on my Facebook Live. I called the Tiger Samuels and shit. Oh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I basically told people why they, you know, how, how how to pick a stripper for your side chick and how to do it correctly. I was fucking around though. You know I mean? <laughs> okay, so we got Alexis. Alexis wants to go live. All right, Alexis. Uh, I'm asking you to unmute. You are live and on the air with Kevin Samuels. <laughs> Alexis, what up? Hi, how are you? Hi, Andre. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you as well, Alexis. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great, feeling great. A um, couple of questions. Shoot. Do you find that, um, I don't know what state you're in, but I've been in a notary in Michigan and a notary in Georgia for okay. six months. I've been a notary in Georgia, um, but I've been a notary for 15 years. Congrats. And, and um, I'm starting my agency i'm doing advertising and everything um i primarily do real estate signings but my thing is do you find that there's more business in states that are notary that are notary public states versus attorney states no so um the answer to that is it doesn't matter it's just where your focus is and how good your marketing is if your if your marketing is on point if you don't mind doing some cold calling. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you have an animated commercial on your website? No, I don't. So like if you tackle all the necessary steps, you're going to make money. It's okay. just what are you going to focus on? 
Okay, because I'm I'm marketing right now. I just started marketing on Bing, Yelp, okay. and Google. I have my web page up. I just got that up. I have a virtual. What's office. your website? Um, exemplary notary. Um, okay. e x e m p l a r y notary dot com. Okay. Um, I want you to get a commercial done by next week. Okay, commercial. It could be a an animated one from Fiverr. It could be you. But have a have a, have a commercial done. Um, okay. And do you have a business email address too? Yes, I do. Okay, mm-hmm. great. Support, yep, I have um, support at exemplarynotary.com. Great. Um, and I'm also have some, I joined the chamber as well as a couple of country clubs too. Good. Okay, you got this. Um, mm-hmm. What you want to do is you want to get the stuff done that makes you look the best online. Okay. Uh, Tiger and I both get this. Okay. Uh, you aren't the most, I, I hear this all the time. Um, you know, know what? You aren't the cheapest, but you answered the phone. <laughs> <laughs> you have a business voicemail on your phone and mm-hmm. you sound like you know what you're doing. Yes. Okay. Why do you say I'm the cheapest? How would you know? No, no, no. That's what clients tell me in time. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I'll they say that you're not the cheapest. So, like they, yeah, no, so, they hire us even though we aren't the cheapest because we know what we look what we're doing. We, we, we look like we know what you're doing. Uh, if you look at Tiger's uh, USA Notary, Tiger? Uh, US Notary Agency. US Notary Agency, that, that's cold right there. Okay. I have full confidence when I go there that I'm gonna get done what I need to get done. So you do, you tweak those, add those couple things to it and just go all in on what you're doing. Oh. Uh, if you're doing loan closings, how many title companies have you cold called to get their business? None. And so that's my next thing. And is there, I want to start a signing service. Is there any particular software that I need to be looking at? For right now, not necessarily for right now. Just get on the phone, call title companies, escrow companies, okay. say, I am a seasoned veteran. I now have a team. I now have a roster. Okay. Of, of certified loan signing agents available on demand. We can even do same day service if you give us at least three to four hours. We are here to serve you and we want to become your go-to notary signing agency. Alrighty, alrighty. Because- if you do 10 of those a day, you're gonna be loaded. Okay, okay, because I, I've been getting people from Yelp, but I'm gonna tell you the issue that I've been having is, I hate to say it's our people. They cheap as hell? Huh? They cheap? Yes, they're cheap. I, I got a call yesterday from a guy. I, he just wanted something signed and I was charging him $50 and okay. he didn't so, call back. And okay. when I did call him back, he ended up going to the bank, but I'm like, because yeah. you get through it for free. Well, if you could go. You... Well, most so of the people kind of... who call you aren't going to be your customer. So just get used okay. to that. Most okay. people who call you will not be your customer. Most people, most calls do not go through. Okay. Uh, people who call you are looking for a mobile notary. Yeah. So in your marketing, you need to put out their mobile notary. Yeah, because he didn't seem to know that that's what I did because he wanted to know where that's I was what at. You do. Yeah. I tell people where to go. Yeah. <laughs> <don't> <laughs> but, you know, we travel okay. to our clients. We charge a premium for that. Uh, if that's not what you're looking for, you can go to the bank. It will, it will be a few bucks. But Indeed. We, okay. I don't try to convince people who are looking to go find a notary tea. I, I don't know if you do that or not, but no, I, I don't. people who are looking for my service. Okay. And then to interject with that also, Alexis, you have to realize the platform that you're actually on. It's Yelp, right? So mm-hmm. Yelp, it's um, they're looking for discounts on Yelp. That's like saying, hey, I'm a notary on Groupon. They're immediately going to look for the lowest price that they can possibly get. Yeah. So it's not necessarily that our people don't want to spend the money. It's the platform that you're on is has already painted this picture of hey you can get the best deal for the best price with the best service over here at yelp so don't yeah. expect to pay premium over here because we're yelp mm-hmm. okay. 
Yeah, because I'm getting, that's what I'm yeah, because that's what I'm I'm getting and you know and and I know not to be focused. I used to be a loan officer, so I know not to get focused on rate on price. You know, I'm not trying. I, I, I I'm tired of sales. I'm not trying to convince nobody or nothing. So, you know, so and thank you. awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you'll be cool. You'll be cool. Um, do those things and you'll be straight. Okay. Call these companies. Tell them you want to be their go-to person and get that shit done. Okay. Awesome. All Thank right. you, Alexis. Appreciate you. So we have our next uh, caller. This is Tech out of East what? Oakland, California. The Tech, where you at, baby? Somewhere getting rich. I knew he was in this car. <laughs> <laughs> <Do it. laughs> hey, so I'm driving through the hills right now. So just in case if I go out, just to let you know. But um, yeah, I just left an assignment where I just did 20, sign, 20 notary signatures for a client who calls me about every other month. And, um, you know, the tactics that I use, or I don't even wanna call them tactics, but the business principles that I use, it comes straight from you, Andre. And I wanna tell you something real quick, man, and then I'll get to my question, but, um, and this is really a comment, I'm, I'm really talking to myself when I say this, but, Listen, if you told me that there was aliens outside right now, I would go and look. I would, I would go peek out my window. I would just have to. That's how much I trust your principles. That's how much I trust your judgment. I trust your vision. And I would just say, ah, I know this motherfucker, but he might be true. I don't know. I would just have to go look. Man, that's how much I mean that 100%. Um, my, my business has been doing tremendous and it was all built off of your foundations, off of your the, the, um, the notary business school. And I love the fact that you are building business owners. There are a lot of people with platforms out here and I personally think that they are building employees. They're building uh, people who are um, essentially trained to take orders from other people but you have shown us and shown me, especially how to make your own, how to build your own. So kudos to you, man, and big ups. I just want to know, my question after all of that is, um, you know, do you, I personally don't think you get the credit you deserve, but I just want to give this, give this gotta moment to you. That, you like, we got to change all that, We got to change all that. Y'all give me plenty, but yeah, from man. you two alone, I, I, I'm fulfilled. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Yeah, man. No, no, what, just, what's your what's your vision with uh you know what what do you have planned coming up next, man? What's what's the next big move for you? Man, I'm really enjoying my in-person podcasting tech. I want to see how much of a show I can turn this into. It's a lot of fun. It's something that won't take me away from what I'm currently doing. So I'm just gonna do what's working, man. I'm gonna grow the notary school. Gonna gonna crank out this in person podcasting show, and um, and and see where those things go. Uh, um, I got a lovely woman in my life now, so you know, hopefully, we take that next level in our relationship. And and those few things right there are good enough to hold me down for the next six, nine, twelve months. Yo, but T, how much did you charge for those um, for those twenty signatures? You didn't say that. Uh, Which one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Tech, tech, how much you charge for the 20 uh, notarizations, brother? Oh, I just charged them 300 for that one. Oh, yeah. just 300. That's hit the gun on these niggas, Tiger Twigs. Hit the gun on these yeah. niggas. But you know it's what? McDonald's money, right? <laughs> <laughs> how long were you there for, T? Uh, the appointment was at uh, 1 30, and I left at 2 o'clock, so 30 minutes. $300 at 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes. But you know what the coldest part about that is? What you just mentioned to Alexis, she was talking about where should I advertise? Or you, could you talk, you talk about marketing? Marketing, like, listen, man, the I don't do the business cards. I, I can't do the door to door. The, I respect your opinion, but the, the calling time agencies, but you're right. The number one thing people want, they're going to call you and they know what they want already. They need, they need a notary. So can you do it? Can you give it to them? Can you come? Can you come now? It's going to take you an hour, three minutes. That's, to me, that shows, first of all, how to be a professional. Like your business school shows how to present yourself, how to position yourself so that 
you do attract those high ticket clients because attorneys will call you, real estate agents will call you, um, uh, contractors will call you. Um, I mean, I had a call from a, uh, a women's shelter the other day. They were trying to get a lot of like a, a mass group of people, families, their birth certificates. If you present yourself and this is this is directly from your school, but I'm getting ready to say verbatim. <laughs> present yourself, <laughs> position your website, position your email address, your phone, carry yourself like as in this manner, and it will come. And it absolutely does. So put go heavy in the marketing, but go heavy in the investment to yourself. Pay whatever you need to pay, but just go and in heavy into yourself. Make sure that you are not selling yourself, but you are actually, you know, presenting yourself. Whew. Shout out to you making ten dollars a minute too. By the way, <laughs> shout out man. to Tech. Man, don't let me pull out the numbers, man. No, no, no. We we might have IRS on this joint, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> we ain't make nothing, IRS. We <laughs> nah, broke. We broke, baby. No we broke. <laughs> man. I'm driving a Honda Civic, man. I don't got no money, man. <laughs> we ain't got no money, man. Well, hey, it's like paid in full. You remember when he's like, what you talking about, man? I'm broke. I ain't got no money, man. I ain't got no money. <laughs> yeah. I love, that, I love that. Congrats, T, man. I'm glad you're killing it out there, brother. Happy for you, man. Love you, brother. Man, don't thank me, man. I thank you, man. That's what's up, man. We give this brother his flowers while he here, man. And he ain't gonna be underrated, goddammit. We gonna make sure of that. <laughs> I'm happy with my rating. Trust me, y'all y'all make me feel rated. I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. Well, so, man, we, hey, Dre, I ain't gonna take too much more of your time. You know, I could talk to you forever, brother. I just wanna oh, thank you so it. much for being on the season finale of The Notary war room i mean you closed it out brother it, it's phenomenal I, I can't wait to edit this thing and you know like really put it out there on all the platforms um spotify youtube apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, everywhere like high levels of distribution right so Let's what do it. is there anything that you would like to lead off to the people let them know about your class your the, I, I put in the notary business school website for I them to follow it. Uh, what, yeah. what would you like to leave off with the people? Um, if you're looking to make some money, this business works if you work it. Am I going to tell you this will be your decade-long business? Am I going to tell you that this will be the business that, that you make the most money in? Maybe you will. Maybe not. But the people who do well are the people who keep it simple, stick to the script, get fancy later. Do not think too far ahead. Think of the next three steps you got to make. Um, if you're on a roll in Tigers course, hit the notary war room. If you want to check us out, check us out. But get with somebody who's done it. Someone who actually has money coming in for an extended time period. You, you do not have to do this on your own. Keep it simple. You have a high, very, I cannot make any guarantees. That would be um, you know, not ethical. But for the people, I see people make money all the time and they kept this simple and they are rocking and rolling. Tech, Tech's been in it about a year, year and change. I told him about it like three years ago or two years ago, but he took a little while. Uh, I think he got laid off from his gig. And then he said, yo, Dre, I'm ready. I was like, Tech, let, let's do it. And here he is, 300 bucks and a half an hour. Yeah. It's a winner. Something's like just a winner in life. This is a winner. The mobile notary in the industry. Come on, stand up. Man, Tiger, shout out man. to you, bro. You are Again. The man, Tiger. <laughs> thank you so <laughs> Hey, bro. Thank you so much for being on this show. Um, thank you, sir. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your body of content, your body of work. I mean, you know, me and me and um me and Donald was talking about all of the body of work. Uh, well, just a sliver of the body of work. And it, it was amazing. I was like, shit, I forgot he did do that. Like you had you had uh, the black man's guide to the altar. I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, that's man. right. He did that shit ride. too. Dude, you're, <laughs> you know, it's too much. It, it, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot out there, man. You're like, you're like Michael Jackson and Prince rolled up in one in this in this game, bro. <laughs> Just happy to be here and to know great people like you. 
So thank you everyone for tuning in. Peace, love, and cash flow to all you guys. We wish you the very best in your life for your family. You know, we're, we're going to pour something out for the ancestors for making all of this happen, man. We just want to thank you guys for being here live and thank you for your participation. Peace, love, and happiness. One love. Peace.